Brilliant. Hello. It is Monday today and another live holistic call. Uh, it's our weekly get together community online call that uh, is been happening for the last six months now. So Lisa Barry has been on the call a few times beforehand and Natasha equally the same. Uh, today's special guest is going to be Lisa Barry and uh, Lisa is a specialist in life changing trauma. Uh, among other things that uh, you know, I'm not going to share with you all at once because Lisa is going to take us through some of her very, very key tips, sort of very, um, very specialized uh, tips and areas that she's, she's actually focusing on to help people overcome any traumatic experiences, but only on, not only on a physical level, but also an emotional level and spiritual level even, I would like to say. So Lisa is also a Carlo Miros uh, practitioner teacher, um, EFT, uh, Reiki, uh, Meta Health. What else, what have I missed, Lisa? Matrix imprinting, um, yes. picture tapping. I think you did very well. Pretty yes. Well everything. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, now uh, Natasha on the call, the call as well. She's actually in, um, involved with crystal therapy. She's done a, a, a number, She's got a lot of experience with crystals, and uh, her her you know whatever she's putting out there, her input is really remarkable because we can bring in the color. Uh, and then the crystals and all the other beautiful therapies where we got we are sort of blessed with such a wide range of therapies uh, in 21st century so um, let's let's uh, crack on and uh, and those of you who are going to listen to watch back again uh, I would like to say the video call because it's going to be uploaded on uh, my Facebook page which is Explorama EU. So for those of you who like to watch back again, this is where you're gonna find most of our you know, previous, previous calls. We find them there and also on my YouTube channel. Fabulous. So, um, so the, the, the topic of today's an audience with uh, my guest speaker today, Lisa Barry, is, uh, is all about the question, is your body controlling, sorry, is your body control? Oh, sorry, is your fear controlling your body? Is that it? <laughs> so, no, that's, is he, what's, what's controlling is you? Your, is your body controlling <laughs> your life? That's it. Or is your fear controlling your body? It could be that as well. <laughs> okay. So, so, um, and then uh, Lisa is going to take us through key tips, uh, which actually very, very lovely and cunningly she put it together as you, as the BFF approach. So mm -hmm. Lisa, Lisa, the BFF approach, Natasha, do you think you can actually guess what does BFF stand for? Um, I think best friends forever when I think yeah. BFF. <laughs> yes, that's it. Yes. So best friend forever. So, so, but the BFF will stand something else according to Lisa. So uh, Lisa, uh, let's, let's start off, you know, when, they, when they, you, you, have a, one of your clients coming to you and uh, it could be any issue of any traumatic experience, uh, grief related or it could be physically related or emotionally related. Um, what is the first major thing you're going through with them? The, the first thing that, they, that I take them through, is that what you said? Yes. Yes, yes. Um, first of all, um, wanting to bring their heart rate down, to bring them in a sense of calm and support. Um, so I bring in, as you said, I've got lots of different modalities. So I will straight away do some heart math breathing to bring the heart rate down to that lovely um, coherence, which again immediately makes you be able to just be in a space to sort of get a little bit more of sort of clarity and thought and calmness mm -hmm. and um, I will have some EFT straight away which is um, tapping on the meridians of the body but all whilst tuning into you know whatever it is that suddenly happened or they're suddenly feeling or sensing again just to bring that calmness down so that we can then you know just have a nice start to have the conversation 
So, so basically, your first concern is to make them feel at ease, to make them, you know, because it it depends on what stage of 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 their traumatic experiences. It could be very raw, or it could be something that they have been involved with for quite a long while. They have tried other therapies, but they haven't found any particular remedy to it, or they haven't seen any release or change. Absolutely. So as you say, whatever it is, my, my key thing to begin with is to, to make them feel safe, calm and supported. So then they're going to be in the right environment to be able to open up to share whatever it is that's been going on. And then as you say, if they've been trying lots of other modalities, therapists for a long time, um, it's, it's my key thing to find, okay, where does this go back to? And it's all about our beliefs. Whatever the situation is that you know, we find ourselves in, it might be a re-trigger of a past experience. Mm. Um, and that's usually the case. So therefore, you know, it's okay. Let's find exactly when this goes back to. And again, using all the tuning in with the body, using all the colors, obviously, got some of the colors behind me. Mm -hmm. um, the colors being a vibration, um, like like music that takes you back to a memory, you know, happy or sad, whatever it is. And that's the same with the color. So I'll bring the colors, sit on the front of the bottles whilst we would have been doing the breathing, the FT. They're already tuning into that. And then, then just ask them to choose a bottle. Let's choose a bottle, you know, how I how are you right now? Where which bottle represents you? And then by exploring that bottle, the colours the number, the meaning, that's, we can get a sense of what this is all about. And also that's when we can sort of lift, lift in the emotions and, and find, you know, where does this go back to? So it's yeah. finding, finding the memory and that's when, ah, oh, they suddenly realize what happened on that day. And that's when you go in and you find the belief. And that's exactly where it all starts with uh, uh, all limiting beliefs or beliefs that were created by a particular experience. It could be a shocking experience or it could be something that was said to them uh, when they were younger or were involved in an accident. So you start, you start from your first, the first uh, key tip is actually getting down to the, the actual belief or beliefs that hold them back, that, that stop them from realizing exactly what's happening to them. Absolutely, because people find whatever, wherever they find themselves, if they feel they're stuck, um, that they can't move forward with their career, they're stuck with um, you know, relationship issues, whether it's career, whether it's personal, um, or as you say, what's your body showing you? The disease, you know, mm -hmm. something's not right. Um, and, and they don't understand why do they, I keep getting, you know, this happening to me, you know, this repeating pattern of, of illness and everything. Why, why, is it, why does it keep coming back, even mm -hmm. if it clears? Why does it keep coming back? And that's when the body can only take it for so long, you know, going through life, as you say, these um, limiting negative beliefs. And then it gets to a point where it's really showing you right up in the face, you know, actually, you know, you need to sort this, this, you know, the body is not happy. And that's mm -hmm. when, again, that's such a sign to be able to, to go back and find, you know, where does this start? And with, uh, with the tools you've got available, um, uh, you, I, I have experienced uh, the meta health, uh, a combination with EFT and color. It was a beautiful, beautiful uh, session and it, it actually can go really, really deep. And once, mm -hmm. once you, you know, with a number of questions and with the support of color, uh, which, you know, I experienced that, okay, because I've got color surrounded by color myself <laughs> in my life, in my work, but equally, you know, um, using, uh, you know, send, send the vibration and the energy, you know, whatever mm -hmm. you are, it can happen on, online, uh, on Skype or on Zoom for that matter. Um, once you identify what the belief is, then, then you can, with a number of questions, you're actually moving forward and you're taking them step by step, uh, realizing, you know, that what is, what's the most, the key thing that we actually, we talked about also, Natasha, when uh, we're doing the, uh, the golden keys to prosperity, which the okay. number one is faith. So you're taking them back to connect with their faith. 
So take us, you know, just, you know, Lisa, it's, it's better for you to tell us, you know, how, how it works from, from there. Absolutely. And as you said, when we, you know, I demonstrated with a, you know, a taster session for you, and it's uh, very much going in when you're finding those beliefs, taking you back um, to when you first experience it. Yes, it can be naught to seven where we all our learned behavior. That's when we're sort of doing all our, you know, our patterning, you know, of, of who we are, of our, and especially our beliefs. But actually, are they our beliefs? They're other people's beliefs, our parents, our uncles, mm. aunts, friends. Um, but also, yes, back into the womb and, and you know, pre-birth and then, you know, ancestral past lives. So it's all about, you know, really going back to, again, as I said, you know, where does it start? So once we actually go back there, and then we can work with our younger selves or our echoes, we call them in Matrix mm -hmm. Real Printing World, which are energetic holograms of consciousness, that, and they break off in that time of trauma um, so that we actually consciously can carry on. Um, and then the, the little part that breaks off, it gets stored in our subconscious or our field or our matrix. Um, so once we go in and identify with that younger self, find the belief that they made about themselves, or what's happened to them, that life, then we can give them all the tools. We can share things from looking at a different perspective, um, but, but change that belief. So, and that's what the key objective is. So if it's this negative limiting belief, we want to change it um, and create the positive beliefs and a positive outcome. So it's a completely different picture that is then stored in your subconscious, which then, completely affects where you are in the present. Mm -hmm. So once you start to do this, that's when they recognize the change in them and in, in how they feel in their body, you know, the disease process, you know, that they might be suffering with, that can be re reversed. And again, using the meta health where different emo emotions linked to different parts of the brain, to tissues and organs, they have patterns. So it's very, you know, you can, by guiding, you can, and questioning, you can sort of really see the themes and patterns. So once they start experiencing all this, that's when the faith kicks in. That's when they think, wow, gosh, yeah. you know, I'm not stuck as a victim. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm, I'm not just stuck with everything else controlling me. I can actually, you know, control my own destiny. You know, I can be the change. I can make the change. Um, so it's, it's, that's the, the F bit, you know. The, the so we have we have gone through then uh, the the B which is uh, belief the beliefs that we have already created about ourselves or somebody else you know for whatever reason whatever the circumstance uh, um, somehow how imposed it on us and then we have accepted it as a way as a way of living as a way of seeing life or perceiving life and then that can happen to any of us. It can happen to a young age or it could be when you are an adult. Um, and and that, that limiting belief can actually control your life and then really, you know, you can get a state of paralysis. It could be different, different uh, levels of beliefs that can hold us back. Uh, and then once, once you, with all the, the, the tools you've got uh, available to you, Lisa, you actually identify with your client what the actual belief is, or it could be more than one belief. I guess it can happen mm. in sessions. Uh, then then you, you, you help them start believing that there is a way out and there's, mm. you know, there's a way for them to move forward in life and then Absolutely. get unstuck. Um, mm -hmm. And then, and then that's that's this is where you're actually getting to the the third uh, key stage or key uh, key way, if you like, how you can um, retrieve, you get back your freedom, is mm -hmm. is by actually doing what? What's the next bit you're, you're offering to them? Well, again, when they have you know that faith and trust, and they suddenly realise, wow, you know, I I can create that change, you know, the the limitless sort of possibilities, the infinite. Mm -hmm. as possibilities that's when they have the freedom so therefore they start to be empowered you know mm -hmm. they start to see wow you know there's so much I can do and actually my life here doesn't have to be going along like this if I don't want it to be you know I can I can you know manifest whatever I want you know I can attract different things in my life I don't have to be stuck in this this grief pattern I don't have to be stuck in, in with these beliefs that I'm unlovable or I'm stupid, um, 
or you know, all these beliefs that we could you know can make you know about ourselves through situations that happen you know when we're younger and as we said wherever they came from so that's when you suddenly realize the freedom when actually that doesn't have to be our hat that we've got on you know we can just be you know anything we want and and it's the freedom it's like it's like being you know if you have this limited negative um, belief that then manifests into all these limiting negative situations in your life you know everything about your life is heavy it's it's negative the people you attract into your life that you know the jobs you don't like you know this the even lack of finances your ill health it's all you know heavy and negative and you just can't feel you can get out of it but once you start seeing where this whole show began this whole pattern you know of these beliefs and you start changing them so you're changing your subconscious so you've got all this positive memories because the subconscious doesn't know whether it's happened you know three minutes ago three years 38 or 300 whatever mm. you know when you change it it's wow that, that's the exciting thing and that's when the magic happens um, and I think that's what it is uh, the, the last one the freedom of thinking that wow this could be my life I could be stuck this sort of so with this certain hat on you know how did how, did, how could it get better you know what is possible um, and then suddenly realizing wow yeah I'm free it's, it's like suddenly you know being in, imprisoned you can just you know get the keys throw from the door and, and you're you know you're liberated you're not stuck you're not held down um and i, and I feel it's like anything then that life throws at you um it isn't an issue anymore it's not a worry because you think okay this has happened why why has it happened perhaps what have i got to learn from this what's mm. it mirroring back to me what's it showing me and, and then seeing things differently, and that's how you can completely turn it around, rather than being the victim. Oh gosh, this has happened to me. Um, oh, there's, no, there's no way out of this, you know. Um, it's it's complete freedom. Of yes. Possibility. Yes. Yes. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, it's it's like not always your friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a. It's a. I think it's like it's actually accepting. You know. It, is releasing but also retrieving some sort of responsibility taking on board you know like for your own freedom instead of uh, leaving, leaving the power you know to somebody else to control what's happening to you you say oh you know this is my life this is who i am yeah. and becoming more more you know clear with who you are as well that gives you the power and uh, again beliefs hold us back but also things that are quite uh, uh, deep down on a cellular level that we cannot see with a clear eye. We cannot see, we, the mind cannot pick up. But through all these tools, you can actually go really deep. And uh, that's, that's where the real work uh, starts. Exactly, you can go really deep. But also, it doesn't have, you know, it's gentle. It doesn't have to be traumatic ever again. You no, know, it's, not, it's not intrusive. It's not, yeah, that's, that's what uh, the beauty of it as well. Very Gentle. And again, just to be able to bring the colour in, to be able to speak to your younger selves, to bring people in. To, and all again, it's all acquiring knowledge. It's all uh, getting awareness. It's, it's just seeing the whole bigger picture, really. And when you get an overview, when you get to see the bigger picture, you know, and you can also stand back because, you know, if you think where it's happening to those younger echoes or, you know, or to echoes that didn't have the tools, weren't empowered. So you go in, you know, and actually you can see it from a different perspective and then they can see it, you know, that's what you can give them, you know, a chance to actually take a step back because you can just stop everything that's going on and have yeah. that moment. It's like, it's like you are, you know, you are switching the rules of the game. You say, hold on, you know, this is my game and I'm going to make it, <laughs> you're going to change it. Fabulous, fabulous. And I that so Said it, it's all about ownership. It's like yeah. you know, accepting where you are, um, wanting to do something about it, realizing you can do something about it, and going to do something about it. Yes, and yes. so empowering for the client. You know, it is. It is about about inspired action, you know, because identify what it is is a very big step, isn't it? You know, identify what was holding you back, what was the actual mm -hmm. belief uh, that, uh, you know, created that sort of uh, being in a victim mode or, you know, that emotional could be depression or it could be anything. It could be a mental uh, health issue. Um, 
So once uh, once identifying this and then and then believing that there's a way out, having faith there's a way out, and then taking you step by step to see how you can actually free yourself from all of that and feel the changes in your body and in your way, your way you sleep perhaps, or in your way, you know, you relate to others, you know, like really standing up for yourself. It could be a number of things. Um, then, yeah, it could be a number of things. Then, then this is, this is how, this is how, um, uh, and I guess, I guess through these three key ways, as you just shared with us, Lisa, is uh, you can apply that, that as, as a parent, you can take that on board and you can use it with your children. Like, you know, you know, like, like the way we speak with to our ch children is, is really important. Or if you are a teacher, the way you speak to your students, uh, um, and, that, and various ways, various ways. Thank you. It was, it was very, very useful and very, very enlightening, Lisa. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, so now at this stage, I would like to open it. If there's, a, if there's any questions, uh, Tasha, have you got a question that you'd like to ask Lisa or something you'd like to contribute or something that, you know, you felt you can relate to what we were discussing? Um, yes, a couple of things really. I, I assume you're talking about um, through the use of colour. Is, is that what the focus was on with your with the technique that you use? Yeah, absolutely. One of the techniques. Yeah. Um, so the the colour mirror system is very much yeah the, the, okay. the way I use with colour. And do you combine it with the other techniques that you um, are trained in and that you know well? Yeah, so it's the EFT, the Emotional Freedom Technique, um, which okay. is, uh, you're familiar with that. Uh, yeah. The old, uh, and the matrix re-imprinting. Um, okay. So matrix is the really key thing with the colour, combining the two, but it's a bit of a mixture. So sometimes, you know, I might just sit to the client in front of all bottles or, or, you know, just if it's a Skype client, you know, choose some, some colours to begin with, which we work on. Um, or they can, mm -hmm. you know, have a look previously, and and then we'll sort of say yes, we use the matrix and the FT, and also I can bring in if they've got, a, you know, the physicality, you know, going on in the body, then I can bring in my meta um, experience and knowledge to give them again, give them more clarity, give them okay, well, it, you know, if if I know what the pattern is, it's asking the little questions that then they maybe just come to that realization themselves because that's the key mm -hmm. thing rather than me doing it for them it's not you know it's that's the empowering bit to suddenly then suddenly see everything sort of slip into place yeah what's the matrix bit that you're talking about the imprinting is mm -hmm. when okay. you you suddenly you know tuning into how you feel into your body um, and with the mm -hmm. color and it takes you back you know when did you when did you feel when have you felt this before you know it might be you've got this sort of tightness in your throat and you might have this racing in your heart and you know giving it color this this blue you know um, tightening in your throat this um, this red racing in your heart this yellow or purple whatever the color is you know churning mm -hmm. in your tongue so we really tune into it give it a an intensity level, 0 to 10, 10 being the most intense, and really start to feel it. And then with some, a slow tapping process on the top of the head, um, okay. when, where does this go back to? And then suddenly, you know, little memories will come up, and I'll think, gosh, yes, I've got an image, you know, there's a little six-year-old at school, you know, and, mm -hmm. and she's, you know, put her hand up to answer a question and got it wrong, and we shouted down, and everyone's laughed at her, so she suddenly mm -hmm. made a belief. I'm stupid or you know um, I you know it's it's not safe maybe to uh, or my or a very <laughs> typical very typical um, uh, sort of belief that I think majority of us you know that I am not good enough that's something again again we explored uh, last week uh, when we went through the G11 generosity bottle you know how generous can we be with ourselves you know how how good are we to receive goodness you know how do we deserve to feel to feel that um so that that's that's another very typical belief isn't it so tasha tasha can you see can you see how um you know oh uh, can you start seeing how color can be used also with crystal therapy because uh, Yes, I can, yeah. I mean, uh, quite similar um, when a person first picks up a crystal, like when we do treatments, um, quite often they're attracted to the colour of the crystal. 
mm. um, as well as obviously the um, the shape and um, size and texture and you know quite often if it just stands out to them um, and when you sort of start off with the treatment quite often at a basic level you do use crystals which uh, will resonate with the color of mm -hmm. um, each of the seven uh, chakras mm -hmm. so like you were saying with with the blue with the throat chakra um, we will work with sort of blue crystals um, for opening the energy um, but then if energy is particularly stagnant it might need a counter color um, so you might need to bring in something else that will you know ground that energy or will remove it in a certain way so mm -hmm. um, so yes, I can de definitely see the two are very closely related. So um, yeah. it's it's, it's a, yeah, it's beautiful learning about the colour as well as obviously tying it in with what I know about the crystals. Yes, mm. yes. But I was really? um, interested in some of the techniques you do because um, I do some um, some similar techniques with the crystals. So I got to go a lot deeper with the client if if they need to. Um, to release, um, like you were saying, like that past trauma and past hurt and um, take a client almost like on a guided meditation with the crystals. Mm. Um, so, we, so I can do inner child or past life and things like that. So, but uh, uh, yeah, like, like you said, it's um, all about empowering the client so that they do feel like they are um, releasing that energy themselves before it does become a physical level. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, I have a, a friend who's a crystal therapist, and um, mm -hmm. she does some EFT as well. And um, she, again, she said it's lovely to be able to mix the modalities, you know, mm -hmm. and again, yeah, crystals and the deepness you can go. You know, again, it's yeah. it's, it's you know going down to a cellular level, isn't it? And on that spiritual, it is. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah, it's quite interesting finding out, I guess, what um, I would say with that first seven years of her life that your chakra is opening for the first time and, mm. and you know, goes in that sort of cycle. And at that particular moment, if that trauma happened while that chakra was opening, that it kind of goes into that chakra and carries on running like um, like a computer program, is really. Mm. Um, and when you kind of find that and can take that out, I mean, you can you can feel it as a therapist, and you can definitely see the client's reaction, which are yeah. sometimes sometimes good and sometimes bad. I've had a had a couple of clients where it's been so deep in there and it's been held onto so tightly that when you do start to kind of release it, that it's um, they have quite a physical reaction to it. So, um, have wow. you ever had that with your clients? Um, uh, maybe you know, someone bursting into tears or oh yes, like yes. yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. or. Yeah. Uh, it's good to be able to release it because part of the problem is people have suppressed it for so long because of fear of showing the emotion or mm. not allowed to. Um, yeah. What we do, you know, we don't, don't like clients to relive the trauma again. So that's why I say it's mm -hmm. very gentle. So it's, it's um, you know, the therapist's, you know, practitioner's job to sort of guide slowly. And we always say, like, you know, don't take on the energy of your younger self, you know, relief, when emotion mm -hmm. comes up, release it, that's absolutely fine, but um, sort of let it flow, but don't become them, and that's why yeah. I yeah. say, yeah. 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 you see yeah. the younger self still, you know, and if, if they are getting a little bit traumatic, then often sort of say, okay, just freeze the picture, just step out of the picture for a minute, and then yeah. we can do a little bit of work together, you know, bring them down, calm them down, do some tapping, do some color, mm -hmm. Um, to have a little conversation about it. Mm -hmm. um, okay, what's our plan of action when we go back in? And then when we go back in, they're in a different space again because you know, you know, with energy you change all the time. Um, yeah. So great to release it. Yes. Again, mm -hmm. we go in and find some echoes are so angry and haven't been able to show, show the anger. And yet, mm -hmm. you know, it's a bad emotion. But you know, every emotion is 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 okay to, mm -hmm. to feel. All Absolutely. Emotions, all yeah. the emotions. As long yeah. as you can feel them and, and express them, but then let them go. It's when mm, we hold yeah. them and, yeah. you know, internalize. Uh, Dasha, Dasha, I've got a question for you. Now, when it comes with uh, a traumatic experience, is there a particular crystal or maybe a range of crystals that can help uh, either identify or release it or something? Can you give us an example since we're talking about uh, traumatic experiences? Yeah. 
Okay. Um, I mean, one of my f- uh, favorites um, is probably hematite. Uh-huh. It's, a, it's a very strong grounding stone and it's one that you can feel automatically. Um, so um, quite often that will pull energy quite quickly into it. So it's, an, it's a crystal um, that does need cleansing regularly because it does hold it very tightly. Mm-hmm. So if you are feeling any sort of upset or hurt, any, any kind of trauma, it will kind of really... Um, move that energy but then it will ha- really ground you and take that energy down back into the earth and recycle it so to speak um, mm-hmm. and, and take that energy that we, do- that we don't need away um, and then you cleanse that crystal and then it's ready to use again right. um, and then I think another I think so many so many that I love <laughs> um, I guess probably another favorite would be an amethyst um, very mm-hmm. similar to I was liken it to people to like lavender because it's very calming and that's quite a good one after trauma because mm-hmm. it immediately relaxes you um puts you back in touch with yourself um starts really working with your brow chakra so open it really helping you to start to see that way forward so if you're trying to overcome trauma um help you to to guide you through that and uh, yeah put you in a relaxed state beautiful beautiful yes thank you That's thank well. you natasha yeah Fabulous. Well, uh, we are almost uh, at the end of uh, this episode of Life Holistic Call. Um, it's it's great. It's great to have Lisa Barry and Natasha Crompton on the on the call. Uh, I would I would love to, I would love to to see you if you if you like uh, to come and join us uh, this Thursday, Lisa. It's it will be wonderful to have you because we are moving into week four, and this is uh, this is the the bottle of I am the I amness. You know, pale gold over pale gold. So if you if you like to join us and just be part of the call, you're very welcome. That that would be a, a, a gift to you if you like to be part of it um but uh, you know that that will be slightly earlier this thursday is going to be at seven o'clock and i'm going to share everybody because i've got something else straight after which i had already been planned it was already planned so <laughs> so <laughs> so so yeah it's, it's going to be this this thursday's uh, only this thursday's um golden key to prosperity video call is going to start at seven instead okay. of 7 30 okay okay brilliant so so thank you thank you us again for being on the call um i'm going to upload the the video so so we're going to share it uh various various social media channels and you can watch it back and you can share it with your connections and your tribe there you mm-hmm. go <laughs> thank you okay right so lovely so, so, to meet you lisa lovely to speak to you tasha okay <laughs> Lots of love to you. Bye for now. Bye. 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 Bye.